All eyes are now on Florida, where that state's winner take all GOP primary will be held on March 15th. Frontrunner Donald Trump continues to crush Marco Rubio, or as he calls him, Little Marco, in the polls. So can and will he continue to gain support in that state? Let's ask my next guest, Chairman of the Republican Party of Florida and a member of the Florida House of Representatives, Blaze Angolia, who joins me now. All right, good evening, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Marco, your man has not won uh, anything today. How, why do you think that is? Well, it was obviously a good night for Senator Cruz and, and Mr. Trump also. Um, I can't speak specifically on why um, Marco Rubio didn't do well tonight, but tonight obviously was, uh, I think, that Ted Cruz overperformed. I think that Donald, um, Mr. Trump underperformed a little, but overall it was a, a good night for uh, Ted Cruz. Okay, and and you know Donald, if you say uh, underperformed, I mean the truth is he took a beating this week. I mean every week it's something. It's the Pope, it's Mitt Romney, you know it's you know the two of them uh, coming at him. Uh, do you see Donald Trump winning Florida? Well, I'll tell you right now, I know everyone keeps on referencing um, the last poll from Quinnipiac, but I've seen some polls uh, here uh, lately and, and that show the race let me just reference tightening. that. It's, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's 49, uh, per, uh, 44, 28. Uh, 44 for Donald, 28 right. for uh, Marco Rubio. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Blaze. No, what I was saying was that uh, that poll, uh, that poll was done about 10 days ago, and I've seen a couple of polls that have come out since that have showed the race tightening a lot. One poll has Mr. Trump up by seven. Another poll, which was released, I believe, earlier today, has Mr. Trump up by five. We're seeing the race tightening, and we think that Florida is going to be very competitive. And in terms of the party and the establishment, your candidate is? We stay neutral. The party, the Republican Party of Florida stays neutral. I stay neutral. Our job is to make sure that we are building the infrastructure and have this state ready to deliver the state to the Republican nominee, regardless of who it is, because our focus is to make sure that Hillary Clinton does not see the inside of the Oval Office in November. What do you think about what Mitt Romney did a couple days ago? Well, I didn't get to see the whole speech. I was, I'm, like you said, I am me, serving in the Florida brutal. House of Representatives. Yeah, I read some of the uh, I read some of the transcripts. Well, Mitt Romney obviously um, has his own opinions. Um, those aren't the opinions of the Republican Party of Florida. We are going to stay neutral because at the end of the day, if it is Mr. Trump and he if, if he is the nominee, then we're all going to get behind Mr. Trump and uh, we're going to help him get elected. What about the fact that you know Marco Rubio is not running for re-election? Uh, if he doesn't win Florida, if he drops out of the race, and and I I I I believe that you would agree that if he doesn't win Florida, it's time to get out of the way. Well, that's going to be up to Marco Rubio and his campaign. I can't say what he will or, or won't do. But what I will say is that, you know, I, like I said before, I think that the race is going to be awfully competitive. Um, yes, Marco Rubio is behind right now, but if anybody can win as an underdog and come behind in this come from behind in this state, Marco Rubio can. He did it in 2010, and, you know, he may just do it here. But... As far as him staying in the race after that, that is a question that only Marco Rubio can answer. And, uh, of course, he's given up his uh, Senate seat or at least said he wouldn't run again. So uh, there's talk of uh, Carson being sought as a candidate. And I got to come on a hard break here. Have you heard that? Carson yeah, I, running I, for Senate? I think I've heard that more in media reports. I have not heard that from any of the grassroots or any of the donors here in the state of Florida. So I don't know if that's entirely accurate. All right. Blaze and Golia, thanks so much for being with us this evening. Pleasure being here. Thank you. All right.